life savings to the Lulu Fund, and don't forget to rescue the scrubs! Alright, welcome back everyone to Let's Play Album Legends Odyssey. We are finally in Splinters. Biggest toothpick factory around. Toothpicks. That's what the world needs. A huge toothpick factory. Anyway, start off with this crane. It's been a while since we've been using a crane, but the basic idea is the same. We pick stuff up and blow it up. There are some slugs around here that uh, you really weren't meant to get, but you still can. There's a slug down at the corner there. He's standing on some uh, explosive crates, so he's pretty much asking for it. But uh, usually, he's meant to surprise you. He always surprised me when I used to play the game, but I have the upper hand. Just gotta get in this one more time. Still standing next to crates, so if I'm right. There we go. Even made a nice little chain. And when you got all that done over with, simple, uh, not even puzzle stuff, like just, you know, it's kind of instinct by this point. You pick Abe up, put him next to a lever. We've seen this before in the slot cuts. And what's that over there? It's a clip. This clip is a piece, or a clip, whatever, of a trailer or a teaser trailer for a cancelled Oddworld strategy game called Hand of Odd. It was meant to be released around the same time as this game. And, well, I don't know, I guess it got a bunch of complications, but there are a lot of trailers for it. I mean, you see videos of, like, slave workers grinding wood or natives growing trees or, and such. It seems like a really cool idea for the game, but chances are it'll never see the light of day, but with the uh, PC release of the two Xbox games, which uh, if you don't have yet, you should probably get. They're kind of broken right now, but they'll get fixed eventually. We might we might see a revival of Hand of Odd. Who knows? I don't... I wouldn't hold my breath, though. Just, just as a warning. Now this room, guess what you do? You blow up more slicks. That's just what the majority of this level is. Just the first half of this whole level, you blow up slicks. You have to... There's two guys up here that you have to blow up with Abe. And it's kind of tough. If only because something like that can happen. Then the slick wakes up. And then you just have to run away. I was hoping that he would just kind of ignore me, or like forget about me, but it wasn't happening. He was still trying to shoot me, so I just said forget it. Just jump down in the middle, and just wreck havoc. On the upside, a couple of slicks ended up killing themselves somehow. And the game slowed down too, so that's always nice. Gonna check our Korma, because that big room where all the slugs are has some scrubs, and there's a possibility that they can be blown up. I find it odd that the slugs were laughing here, because, you know, one of their buddies just got blown up. Is that intentional? Maybe. Alright, let's try blowing this guy up again. Note the scrub here. That scrub ends up being my demise, because I forget he's up here, and I have to go back to the beginning of the level to get him. Just just as a warning right now. He's very easy to miss, I think, in my opinion. I mean, there's a crane control thingy there, too. Uh, we could have Munch walk all the way to there, but it's just easier to kill him. Poor Munch. Even when he's useful, you still gotta kill him. Because there's a revival point right here. Crane here is kind of weird. Kind of limited, I guess you could say. You can only really mess around with the lower half of the room. Which is still useful, don't get me wrong, but... Eh. It's kind of dangerous too, because you could blow up some scrubs. You don't want to blow up scrubs, that's not our uh, mission here. They even got these huge piles of, like, 
explosive boxes right there. Explosive crates. They don't really do anything. The no slick is really near them and it kind of just makes them just eye candy. Explosive eye candy. Now, you may have just noticed there that a slig decided to hit a scrub. Um, slugs will sometimes just hit scrubs out of pure sadism. Uh, they will never kill a scrub. No, it's just more of a throwback to the 2D games where patrols will just kind of torture slaves every now and then. It's nothing too serious. Okay, now those two guys, they unfortunately have to get rid of through Abe's shoddy throwing. It's not impossible, but you're bound to miss one like I do. Yeah, it doesn't look like there are any left there. Might as well go see. Check it out. It's kind of dark, hard to see. Oh, oh, uh oh, oh, well, he killed himself, so that's that. Again, we'll check our pharma again. Make sure no one got blown up accidentally, and it looks like we're good. So we can start off start off the uh, new doc scrub roundup. Hey there, fellow chum. Do a pretty bad job of cleaning, by the way. It's just a bunch of splotches of water. Like really, do you need that? Can't you make them do anything more productive? So the scrubs in this level are a bit um troublesome. There are kind of mines scattered everywhere, and as I've said before in an earlier video, as you go on through the game, Mugak and AI gets a bit more stupid, a bit more stupid, and uh, you may notice it. Yeah, I forgot to get the scrub up at the top level. I even noticed, well hey, there's less scrubs than before in a test recording, but oh well, just keep on going, I'll worry about it later. Anyway. You get a pretty large group of scrubs following you in this level, and uh, it makes it kind of hard to navigate around some areas because they'll run into mines. Just no matter how careful you are, they will run into mines. And it makes this part of the level kind of annoying. And no, don't don't check the... okay. Well, now you see we killed 14 slicks. We have 13 scrubs. Okay. Now try to pick up... no, no, no. Just, no, oh, okay. There we go. To make the A button do everything, it's kind of the drawback to this game. So there's a big bro sleeping there. We know what to do with that, there's no uh, depossession orbs like in the last big room. Makes it pretty easy. Do you note that you do have to do this, because uh... There's t these two big guys right here, and the uh, best way of disposing of them. Man, they're just such chumps when they're getting shot like that, it's ridiculous. Like, how are they even a threat when you're possessing someone? They're not. Alright. And this is weird, the game starts doing this where there's some scrubs behind exploding walls? Why are they here? I guess I shouldn't question it so much, it's just, you know, level design stuff, but why would you have scrubs working behind an exploding wall and make it the only way to uh, enter the room by exploding said wall? It just doesn't seem productive. Now this is the part where you're gonna want a quick save if you're trying to save all scrubs. You're gonna want a quick save. Okay. You know, just to be safe, maybe a scrub will blow up, you know, but we'll be careful, we'll just kind of walk across here. Uh, nope, nope, it didn't happen. It did not happen. We're gonna have to try again. Alright. You know, get a better camera look at the camera, maybe we'll just run through. Nope, nope, that didn't work either. So... Your best bet would be either to just keep quick loading until uh, you get lucky, or separate the scrubs into groups. I put in groups of four, because I have 12 with me right now. It was pretty efficient. Well, it's ridiculous that I have to do this. Why can't you just make them not 
run into the mines. Just save me the hassle. Hey, what's happening? How are you doing? Hey, Abe. Hey, Abe. Yep. Oh, no. Possessed him? Okay. Yeah, you can really see some of the flaws of the game stand out as uh, you get farther and farther into the game. Just kind of sad to look at, but what can you do? You could pretty much say that for any game, really. And this is the last batch of scrubs, anyway. Okay, and I've noticed, well, I am missing one. Guess who it is? It's our old buddy, the guy on the second floor. Well, we got him to follow us after about 10 minutes of searching. Which is just great fun, really. Here's something fun, though. Let's go possess the junior executive of Splinters. Why not? That'll be productive. Get Ludo some cash. See, there's some spoos here. I think they try to make it so that you have to save scrubs to get into the uh, Luckin, but there's some spoos near the beginning of the level that you can just keep reviving. So if you want to kill the scrubs, just go crazy. Why not? Alright, so a couple of things about this uh, office that I'd like to point out. First of all, there's plants here. Why are there plants here? I mean, I don't think Gluckins really care for wildlife. And any visitors they may have would be Gluckins. So it seems kind of pointless. Big splinter sign. And uh, a nice open window to see. I'm not sure if this is a texture or an actual transparent window. It's still cool. I like the fact that he sees everything. And even a megaphone. Or whatever it's called. Some sort of microphone to speak through. So everyone can hear him. Of course you can't actually use it to amplify throughout the whole uh, factory. That would be too cool for this game. The game's not that advanced. Anyway. Just get rid of the money. And uh, we'll be on our merry way. Thanks, Junior Executive. And, well, that's pretty much the end of the level. Got everyone taken care of, got every, uh... I don't know. All the money gone, all the scrubs saved. Make sure you jump around this arrow here. It's meant, it's there to tell you, hey, if you jump here, there won't be mines on the other side. Nice job! Now let's put the bite on the Gluckin' CEO! You know, I got the shaman telling you pointless stuff at the very end. Seems to happen a lot more as we keep going on. Not sure why. Make sure to kill a bunch too. Because that's the faster way to do it. And I know no one wants to watch the video of Munch hopping around for 10 minutes. That hopping noise can really get on your nerves, I know. Bunch of name, best bros. So, next time, we'll be uh, attacking the uh, Heart of Splinters. It's probably, well, not the large level in the game, that, that'd be no Mud's name, but it's a pretty big indoor level. And, uh, pretty fun too, so, we'll see you next time.